This are the life. This are the dream. Remember when me never have no of it. No man a fly. No we up and a do it. Them never used to see we, but now them a pray. But me still feel hurt for my cousin we pass. Even though that a life still me say my dog. Remember when we used to kick back when we used to laugh. Nowadays my mind still stuck in the past. Yo, check it. This is Prince Emperor. Me I represent for Sleep Dance Hall, the number one spot for dance hall news and updates. So like, comment, share and subscribe right now. I'm out. And the more them fight, the stronger we get. Me too cocky for your corporate, corporate speaking of cocky. Hey, Paula, go suck a dick. What? Go suck a dick. No, people. Without further ado, me not go waste no time. Vibes cartel disrespect Paula Lowell in the wickedest way you can think. The man basically tell her go suck a dick. Yo, me not tell her like cartel. You're different. No, guys. If... PST was an individual, it would be Vibes Cartel. Cause trust me, Vibes Cartel no give a F at this moment. You understand? Probably because you don't know him, realize that the justice system in Jamaica does F off with him. They don't really want to have no links with him. They don't want to affiliate with him. You know what I mean? The man of fear take him thing out the Privy Council overseas. So you don't know. I think he's a bit frustrated and upset at the system. But this specific individual, Paula Llewellyn, no done no like her. Basically, now this person or this individual or this female is a message. She's the one who is responsible for all prosecution when it comes down to the courts. No, she not like no done. And she labeled Vibes Cartel as a done. She labeled a few other people as done. And trust me, she get a whole heap of high ranking members of some top gang. She get them behind bars. And I mean, and after the whole Vibes Cartel trial and Vibes Cartel was um found guilty and stuff like that. She was the one who basically was happy. She was saying that Vibes Cartel not forget no appeal. And Vibes Cartel must stay away because Vibes Cartel is a menace to society. Now look at it. It's so funny that actually years later Vibes Cartel make an album titled The Band for This. And a track on the album is titled The Menace. And he included her name in it. Basically on her ear for herself. Now people, let me tell you this. The justice system has been giving Vibes Cartel a hard, a hard time for the past... Um, Basically 11 years or 10 years, I guess. Yes, what I say? Since he has been incarcerated. Not since he's gone a big prison, you know. But since he has been incarcerated, the system will fight him. I don't know how Vibes Cartel do it, guys. Can't tell how him do it. Um, His management team and his whole um camp, they're saying that Vibes Cartel ain't recording. But nobody can tell me that them songs are with me here, record from 2011. No, bro. These songs were recently recorded. Because trust me, you have to understand this. All is fear in love and war. You understand? People may not people may not like cartel. A lot of people may not like cartel. But you have a few out there who respect him. You know what I mean? And that few that respect him will go to the farthest extent to help him. If you know what I mean. So from money around, recordings are gonna happen. So whether or not Gaza fans want to admit it or not, uno artist advice. Well, no uno artist. Jamaica's artist, cause vibes cartel are all away. Jamaica. That's what I say. So everybody for knows the vibes cartel are record. I mean, when nobody come in the comment section and I say, boy, I sleek, oh, you try to expose the man and I lie, you tell him if you have proof, brother. The songs are so apparent when you hear it. The songs are so apparent. As in, it a move with the time. You can't tell me, say, this man I record the menace in a 2011. This song was recorded probably a year or two years ago. You understand? You have to understand, so listen to me, Vibes Cartel has ways and he knows how to get around certain things and as me say as me say from money and run from bread and butter did it man and man are going to help him so even if 95 percent of jamaica is against vibes cartel and want him to stay in prison the next five percent are trying to help him them can not get him out but wherever and however him send them for go about doing him business them go deal with it whenever and however you understand? You have to understand that this brother your name Vibes Cartel, he have a loyalist. Just as how you have loyalist to Bounty Killer, loyalist to Mavada, loyalist to every, each and every artist. He has his loyalist. And not only they are called his fans, some of them are in family too, his co um, close friends and affiliates. So, you don't know, but Paula Llewellyn is an individual where Vibes Cartel don't, they two of them don't like them one another. Period. Point blank. You understand? They don't like them one another. You understand? And when two individuals not like them one another, when a male and a female have a, have a deep hatred towards each other, it's very, it's alright. Mother classify that as a more serious hatred than when, 
Like, you know, that's two virgin kick off and thing and they meet them one another. Or two friends, two, two friends who are, who, are, who are women, them kick off and, you know, them eat them one another. Them can turn back friends at any moment, you know. But when a man and a woman have a serious hatred against each other, there will be no mending of fences, you understand? And I don't know if Vibes Cartel used to deal with Paula Lowellin data or Vibes Cartel and Paula Lowellin probably did in a some cause. Listen to me. Cartel have had a lot of corporate affairs with corporate women. You know what I mean? So that's why when I hear him say, um, um, some of these men were hate him, him there with them, them, them daughter, him there with them, them, them wife and so, you know, what if a disrespectful things like that. So people are saying that probably that's why the system here cartel. Cartel provoked the whole friggin Jamaica when it comes down to certain things. But that's, 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 that, that's the thing. Provocation brings gain. If you add like monetary gain, cause he's provoking individuals. You know what I mean? And they are ranting out and saying, Oh, me hate Vibes Cartel and me this and me that when by them saying that people are being attracted to Vibes Cartel. Because the man say, Who is this Vibes Cartel? Let us find out some more about him. Let us listen to his music. And you know the Vibes Cartel has a catalog of songs. You know what I mean? And when I really check the levels, I don't see no man I wrote an album like Cartel right about now. Separate apart from that, only Sizzler alone could have rank. And you can't rank Sizzler with Cartel because Sizzler a legend. I know some people are going to vex and say, Oh, Cartel is the baddest thing. But let me tell you this. Sizzler has over 80 albums. Sizzler Kalanji have over 80 albums. But I'm not going to stray from the topic because this is not about Sizzler. So I say this is about Paula Llewellyn. So I say about Miss Llewellyn, the one that at. Probably you don't hear the song yet, but you trust, trust and believe me, she's going to hear the song. Whether it be months down the line or weeks down the line or even years. But I really want to ask, why is it that this woman is against Vibes Cartel? Is it because he's affiliated with gangs? Because trust me, she don't like gang, you know? You see, the one out of the clans out of Spanish town, she dislike every member of it. You see, I say, you see, they, they show up and see where they are told there, do those things. She don't like nobody. This woman, she makes it her point of duty to, to get rid of Dan's. So she did labor vibes cartel as a done and thing. After him, he get the guilty verdict and thing and thing. She basically was smiling because she said, yes, finally off the streets. And I'm